Welcome to the Code to Enhance Learning video series to learn coding. Let's start with the lesson, what angle is it? There are many children who find it hard to identify the types of angles. For example, if 60 degrees is given, then they would find it hard to answer if the angle is acute, right or an obtuse angle. Do you know what type of angle is it? How do you think that we can use coding to create an application, game or animation to help kids to identify types of angles? In this lesson, we will make an application to identify the type of a given angle. The objective of this lesson is that we will make an application to identify the type of a given angle. The angles are of four types. Depending on the range in which the measure of angle lies, they are as shown in the image below. Before starting, let's see a preview. Let's enter 60. Here you can see it is showing it's an acute angle. Now, let's start again. Now I am going to enter 178. Here you can see it is showing it's an obtuse angle. So, in this lesson, you will learn to make an application to know about the different types of angle. Are you ready? In order to make this application, we need to learn a concept called operators. Operators are special type of functions that takes one or more arguments and produces a new value. For example, addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. are all operators. Before we start making this project, let's think and note down the response to question, can you tell me what will happen on stage? Okay, application asks user to enter the degree of the angle. It checks the type of angle based on the degree of the angle entered by the user. It tells which type of angle is it. It shows how does the angle looks like in the stage. Now, I will think what we will need on the stage. A cat sprite and different types of angle on different backdrops. Let's start with a backdrop. Here, I am going to draw different backdrops to show different types of angles. First, I am going to make home backdrop. Similarly, I will make an acute, right, obtuse and reflex backdrops. As you can see here, I have drawn these different backdrops. After this, I will select this cat sprite. If you want, you can edit it also according to your convenience, like I am doing here. Now, let's move to the coding part. First, I want to ask user which angle type you want to know. So, for this, I will start with green flag and to ask question, I will choose this block. This block consists of another block in it, which is known as answers block, which is used to store the input entered by the user. For example, if we ask user what angle type you want to know and he writes 56 degrees, so then the answer will store 56 degrees in it. Now, the next step will be the application has to tell the user about the type of angle which user has entered to know. For this, I have to see that in which range this angle is present. For this, I will select if block. The entered value is stored in answer block and this answer block will be compared with some values to know about the angle type. 
so to compare values i am going to use two operators that are greater comparative operator and lesser comparative operator so that this is used to find the type of angle for example if the answer is greater than 0 and less than 90 then it will be acute angle and in order to make connection between these two operators i will use here and logical operator which will produce the output only if both the conditions are true when these operator blocks get to compare and tell the type of angle then simultaneously backdrop should also change accordingly and the sprite should also say the name of the angle similarly this is the code for right angle this is the code for obtuse angle and this is the code for reflex angle let's see how it works Let's enter 75 degrees. Here you can see that the backdrop is changed from home to acute as well as the sprite is showing the message that it's an acute angle. Now again if I want to start then the backdrop should be in its original position. For this I will put this block here also. Also in the beginning I want the character to introduce itself and say I can tell you the name of an angle of given degrees and here let's keep the character in the center position so for this I will use go to block here I will keep the size of the character double so for this I am going to use this block and set size to 200% while showing the angle I want the sprite to glide towards the corner so that it will not block the backdrop with the angle type. Before gliding, I will choose this block to reduce size and set size 100% so that the sprite covers less stage space. We are doing this as to make our application attractive so that users will find it interesting. You could also add sound or animations or have characters to interact with the audience. So, the coding part is done. Now let's see how the whole program will run. So, this is the code. For what angle is it using a scratch programming? After this, I have some quizzes for you. Read it carefully and discuss the answer with your partner or teacher. Now, before ending this, I have some questions which you have to discuss with your partner. Thank you for watching.